Welcome to the Monday, June 4th, 2012 edition of Erner Berry's Daily Video, sponsored by Erner Berry's all-new seafood posters. In today's video, we'll take a look at the highs and lows from our HRI Buyer's Guide, and later, check out what countries are the top importers for crab meat. Now, let's look at the markets with your host, Jamie Chadwick. The U.S. Department of Agriculture raised its forecast Thursday for U.S. agricultural exports in the fiscal year 2012 for $134.5 billion worth of goods, which is a $3.5 billion increase from the February prediction. In its quarterly forecast, the USDA said that wheat and soybean exports are strong, but the biggest boost to trade are coming from horticultural products like tree nuts as well as meat. Exports to Mexico and Canada are at record levels, while exports to China are up $1.5 billion due to demand for cotton, pork, dairy, poultry, and tree nuts. The forecast for U.S. imports was also increased, although not as sharply. Importers are now expected to bring in $107.5 billion worth of goods, up from the February forecast of $106.5 billion. For more information on the USDA's quarterly forecast, plus other news in the food service industry, please visit foodmarket.com. Now here's Russ Barton with the highs and lows from this week's HRI Buyer's Guide, which is a weekly publication dedicated to current commodity prices being paid to wholesalers and purveyors by hotels, restaurants, and institutions. Memorial Day weekend marked the beginning of the summer grilling season. Warm weather conditions in the Northeast added to the volume of sales for items such as clams. The New York Fulton market reported increased sales of shell clams, which caused an increase in market price offerings. As barbecue season has hit a full stride, steak cuts are selling at premium levels. While buyers seek steak cuts that will be priced below the typical grilling steaks, such as a ribeye or strip loin, demand for the choice top bud has turned brisk. The choice top bud is currently priced nearly 50% above the same week in 2011. The shell egg market wrapped up the most recent upward adjustment last week, aided by better than expected sales during Memorial Day weekend. Larger sizes are well balanced with several wholesale buyers active in the spot market. Our large quotation has advanced 3.2% since our last report, but prices have since settled and our markets await further directions here. In the poultry market, boneless skinless chicken breast values have declined as of late under seasonally sluggish demand patterns and lengthy levels of availability. Heavier bird weights have certainly compounded this weakness. Thanks for us. To wrap up today's video, Josh Alonzo looked at what countries are the top importers for crab meat. Memorial Day typically marks the start of increasing buying interest for swimming crab meat, especially in the Northeast. Sales were in line with seasonal trends and reported as active to brisk. Most price offerings were full steady to firm. Imports from the top two producing countries, Indonesia and China, show a 22% increase in 2012 year-to-date totals as compared to 2011. Decreased production has been seen from the smaller producers such as Ecuador, Thailand, and the Philippines. Thanks, Josh. That concludes today's video. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Today's video is sponsored by Erner Berry Seafood Wall Chart Series. These fully laminated wall charts focus on the U.S. market and emphasize the most common commercial Gulf of Mexico, East Coast fish and shellfish and sport fish. Please visit shop.ernerberry.com or call 800-932-0617 to get your posters today.